I'm going to show you a simple little modification for sponge filters that are right out of the box. I bought a box uh, of three of these larger sponge filters on Amazon. Pretty good price. And typically, uh, air coming out of these larger bubbles, you get a lot of glugging at the top of the tank, and consequently maybe a lot more splashing. So this is simple modification. And what it consists of is removing the center cores out of the two sections here. We'll take those right out at the bottom. And you can use, I was using a utility knife uh, very carefully to, to cut uh, at the bottom sections here, remove this piece. Or you can use, if you've got a pair of florist pruners, you could probably use those because they're very fine point, cut those out. And cut them out on both of these. And then what you're gonna do, and I've got these already cut out, okay you're going to need a small piece of air tubing and if it's stretchy that helps stepped away there um, and it it needs to be pretty short so what uh the parts that come out hang on these are what the guts look like that come out of these these sections and what I did was cut about three quarters of an inch off the length of it. That's this. And that'll fit um, the larger side. We'll go into a stretchy air tubing. If you got the really stiff stuff, it's going to be a lot more difficult. This, the smaller diameter goes back up into uh, the top part of the, um, of the sponge filter. And then you're gonna cut off a small piece of air tubing, not too much, because you don't want it to go too deep. So I'm using those florist pruners, all right? And then inside of that is gonna go the air stone. So we've, we've modified this to include an air stone, and it should make a smaller, smaller, mistier type bubble than the big bubbles that just come right out of the, uh, the holes here. So then the two pieces that you've cut the centers out of, Go back together, all right? They both insert into the base, the weighted base. The air stone piece will end up going in here, all right? So first the sponge, and then the air stone. Then thread your uh, air line through the, the air tube. I don't know what they actually call that thing. Um, and then this will go back on like this. And there will be a difference, I guarantee it. And I learned this from Corey, uh, from an older aquarium co-op video. So you might wanna go back and find his video on modifying sponge filters. It's a few years old, so you're gonna to have to look for it. Uh, but I thought I'd update it. It's all the same stuff he did. Uh, he's got lots of great ideas, so I'm just borrowing it and passing it on. So again, it was from Cory Aquarium Co-op. Sponge filters I got from Amazon. This is not sponsored. It's just something I bought. They come in a three-pack box, and I got smaller ones also. And I do the same thing with the smaller ones. Instead of two sections, there's only one section. And you might have to mess with it a little more to get an air stone. You want to get the small air stones to fit down these. And thanks for watching. And give it a like and a subscribe, please. Garage Aquatics 2023.